Hi, I'm Jason Massey. And I'm Pat Snyder. We're with Eastern High Lag. We're going to do a virtual plot tour with this uh, 2020 season being a corrupt year with COVID. So hopefully you enjoy and stick along with us. A little bit about Eastern High Lag. Um, we are about 10 years into our uh, pioneer business of helping farmers throughout Coshocton County and surrounding counties. Um, we built our own warehouse a couple years ago. Now we have our own seed treater and we have the ability to bring you seed to your field in bulk, bags, or boxes, however you prefer. To piggyback off of what Jason said, uh, we do um, have excellent service. We go as far as um, agronomy services for scouting purposes and we also do field by field planning for your local acres. Um, and then on top of more agronomy, we have local resources at our fingertips to help you out with any questions that may arise throughout the growing year. So here we are visiting our plot. Uh, this plot, a little little parameters on this plot, it was planted on April 25th at 33,000 seeds per acre in a conventional tillage practice. We have everything in here from long maturities, 113 day all the way down to the 103 day. So here I stand between three very long hybrids for most of you. Uh, starting off with 1283 all the way to 1380. 112 to 113 day. The 1380 to my right, we want to keep it on a more productive soils. The 1359 and the 1283, more of a challenging, maybe your clay, heavier ground um, in that hilltop, maybe challenging environments. So most of you know 1197 and it's broadly adapted acres, but I'm standing here between 1181 and 1077. 1181 will be more on the, the challenging soils, not your higher yielding ground, but maybe a little bit more challenging. 1077, however, we want to push it into that higher yielding environment. Uh, it has excellent grain quality and uh, test weight. Moving behind 1077 is a 977, 109 day. Um, it is it's one of them more variable yield type corns. Again, good stalks, good roots and great quality in grain and test weight. So here we are in the middle maturities, uh, bringing two new hybrids on board, this 935 AM and then 806 AM. So 935, we'll place it on the similar acres as 843, as most of you are, are, are used to seeing. Um, more variable ground, just like 843. If you've got some of that higher yielding ground, Let's look down here at 806. That's the one we're gonna cook, push onto the better soils, the higher yielding, those ultra high yielding 200 plus bushel soils. Here we are in the early to mid maturities, starting off with 720, going to 688 and 574. I'd like to highlight 720 for a few seconds. This one here is available in the Chrome option. And here with me, joining me is Alexandria Knight, our agronomist through Pioneer to talk a little bit about Chrome. So yeah, thanks Jason. Whenever we talk about Chrome, that's gonna be those options that have a Q at the end. So Chrome is going to be essentially that tri triple stack. Um, those two Herculex genes are gonna be present, but this is a molecular stack of those genes. Um, so we can be a little more precise about where we're putting that gene in the genome. And it's allowed us to bring forward some genetics um, that we weren't previously able to bring forward with that traditional triple stack. I'd like to point out 720 AM as our leader product in this early to mid group, moving down to 688 as our workhorse type hybrid. It's the one you're going to want to plant on those uh, challenging environments, whether it be a hilltop, whether it be medium to high yielding uh, soils. This one has excellent stalks and strength, root strength to uh, handle those kinds of environments. Moving down to this 105 day 574. This one's a unique hybrid because it's offered in a triple, a double, and also conventional for those of you that have that need. This one here, we can use it in a higher population situation. For the, and again, for those of you that like the higher population, this would be our go-to hybrid in an early 105 day hybrid. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for joining us with our virtual plot tour. We apologize dearly that we couldn't have you all at our plot we would much rather do it in person as well as you would prefer that to be. But now we have the option to see this thing at your fingertips, with your iPad, at your computer. Uh, we'd like to thank you again for being our customers. We thoroughly enjoy servicing you guys. 
we'd like to thank Doug House, our territory manager, Alex Knight, for being here to, uh, Alex is our agronomist, for being here to video this plot tour for us. Again, personally, thank you guys for everything you do for us to make it possible. Um, also, we can't wait to ride with you guys in the combine this fall. And again, if you guys have any questions about any of these hybrids that you've seen or haven't seen in the catalog, please give us a call at any time. Thank you. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.